plant. Carnivore. Why is he eating that? Let's investigate. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes and welcome to another episode of Pet Doc Sherlock where we help people solve the mystery of pets. And AJ is still wondering where his little salad bar went. So today we're going to look at why do cats and dogs eat grass? Why do they eat plants? It doesn't really make much sense. We know that cats are carnivores. They have to eat meat. Um, we know that dogs eat mostly meat, but believe it or not, dogs are what we call obligate scavengers. They kind of just look around for nutrients where they can find it, and there's even reports of wolves eating berries and various other vegetation, and most wild dogs will eat the entire animal that they kill, which includes the intestinal contents, so we know they eat at least some vegetation. But why would your dog or cat choose to eat grass? There's a really common theory out there that dogs and cats eat grass because their stomach hurts. And so they try to eat the grass, which then leads them to vomit up whatever is hurting their stomach. AJ found the grass. I'm going to have to take it away from him. Give me just a second. AJ. Okay. Where were we? Um, it's true that on occasion dogs or cats might eat grass because their stomach hurts and they're trying to make themselves vomit. because Dogs and cats can't fully digest grass. They're not like a cow, they're not like a goat, or any other kind of herbivore, and so their intestinal system can't handle it. So, on occasion, they will eat some grass and eat it quickly to make themselves vomit. But that's not very often. It's found that some studies show about 25% of dogs that eat grass will vomit afterwards, and only about 10% of dogs who eat grass actually show signs of feeling ill before they eat it. So that's not the main reason. Another thought is that grass gives them fiber. Again, they can't digest it, so it's going to pass through basically as it enters. And so for cats, it may help them bring up a hairball, or if the hair has moved along in their intestinal tract, it may push the hair on through. And in dogs, it'll bulk up the stool, and if they're having a fiber issue, it'll add to that and help things move through more easily. There's also the thought that grass contains some kind of nutrient that they're lacking. This nutrient is thought to be folic acid, and primarily why cats eat grass. Folic acid is found in milk from their mom, and it tends to help the body produce hemoglobin which is a component of blood that helps carry oxygen. It also promotes growth. But there's no scientific data that cats that eat grass are deficient in folic acid, and most commercial diets have plenty of folic acid in them. So that's not necessarily why they eat grass. Another thought is that they just simply like how it tastes. They like the mouthfeel if you will. It's a little bit different than what they normally eat. It's got a different texture, so they like to just munch on it on occasion and have that feeling of chewing on something different. For other dogs and cats, it might be an anxiety thing, an OCD type behavior. Usually they're exhibiting other behaviors if they're stressed or anxious as well. Cats will hide. They might start going to the bathroom in a different place. They, their attitude might change. They could even become aggressive towards you that they haven't before. Dogs will sometimes lick a, per, a certain spot on their body um, or show kind of OCD-like tendencies. They'll have repetitive movements um, and they'll eat grass. If you think your dog or cat is stressed, then visit your veterinarian. They'll take a look and see if there's any kind of environmental changes you can make. I really like Philo A, which is a pheromone diffuser for cats. And um, if they're vomiting, every time they eat grass, it's definitely time for a trip to the vet to figure out if there's something else going on. But again, none of these are known reasons why dogs and cats eat grass. 
my Dr. Doolittle skills still haven't found me yet, so I can't sit and talk to them. I can't ask them why they eat grass, and all of those are just kind of theories and common thoughts as to why they might. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that your dog or cat is eating grass. You just want to make sure that they're doing it in a healthy way. And what I mean by that is you want to make sure there's no fertilizer or herbicide or fungicide on the grass. You want to make sure you didn't recently spread all of that in your yard and your dog went outside to have a little bit of salad that day. You also want to make sure that if your dog or cat is eating plants within the house that aren't just grass, that they're safe. There are a host of indoor plants that can cause a lot of problems for your dog or cat, especially cats. One of the most common ones is lilies, and lilies can cause kidney failure in cats if they eat enough of them. So the best resource to look for any plant that may be in your house to see if it's safe or not is the ASPCA Poisonous Plant website. I'll have a link in the bottom of this video so you can go check out all the plants that are in your house and see which ones you might want to keep an eye on or you might want to put up out of reach of your feline friend or your canine companion. So I hope that this has at least given you a few simple bullet point ideas of why your dog or cat may be eating grass. If you visit our website, we've got a little bit more in-depth article it goes into each of those points a little bit more, and it explains again when you should be concerned or when you shouldn't be. If your cat loves to munch on plants, loves to eat grass, they actually make something called cat grass that you can have in your house for your cat to nibble on. And it, catnip is also an alternative which they can eat safely. Otherwise, Visit that website and make sure that your plants aren't poisonous. Check out our website for a little bit more detail, but I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas as to why your pet may eat grass, because we as veterinarians have yet to solve that mystery, but um, I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more of our content, hit subscribe. And as always, remember to keep your pets happy and healthy.